Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. From each corner of a parallelogram, draw two line segments to connect the corner to the midpoints of the opposite sides. These eight line segments bound an octagon. What is the ratio of the octagon's area to the parallelogram's area? This challenging problem was given to 8th grade students in Russia. Now one of the difficulties of this problem is even trying to draw the diagram. So let me get that started for you. We start out with the parallelogram. Now from each corner, we'll draw two line segments to connect the corner to the midpoints of the opposite sides. We need to do that for each of the four corners of the parallelogram. In total, we've drawn eight line segments, and these line segments bound an octagon. The question is, what is the ratio of the octagon's area to the parallelogram's area? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So I hope you've given this problem a try, and before I present the solution, I'm going to admit that I could not solve this problem. There's just too much information and I wasn't able to figure out the way to approach this problem to figure out the areas. So what's the correct answer? The answer is 1 -sixth. The amazing thing is that the answer applies for any parallelogram, which will include rectangles and even squares. So I was stumped by this problem, but how would an 8th grader figure it out? Well, I looked up some solutions online, and there are many different ways you could do it, some involving more complicated mathematical methods. The method I will present in this video uses only basic geometric principles. The solution was emailed to me by Michael K., who also suggested the problem. So the idea is to consider the parallelogram and divide it into even smaller parallelograms and we'll end up finding some patterns. The first step is to slice the octagon like a pizza into four pieces of equal area by connecting opposite midpoints of the parallelogram. Let me get started with some notation. Let P be the parallelogram's area and let X equal the octagon's area. We're searching for the ratio x over p. So how is dividing this parallelogram going to help us? Well, each quarter of the octagon has an equal area. Therefore, each quarter will be equal to x over 4. Next, we've divided the parallelogram into four smaller parallelograms and each of these will have one quarter the area of the parallelogram, so each of these will be p over 4. Now what we'll do is we'll take one of these smaller parallelograms, and then we'll do the same thing. So let's zoom into the parallelogram in the upper right quadrant. Let's now connect the midpoints of opposite sides in this parallelogram to divide it into four smaller parallelograms. Each of these four smaller parallelograms will have one quarter the area of the previous small parallelogram. So one fourth of p over four will be p over 16. Now we're going to do this even one more time. Let's focus on one of these smaller parallelograms, and let's zoom in one more time. Let's focus on just this parallelogram, and what happens if we connect midpoints on opposite sides of this parallelogram once again? We're getting closer to the area of this quarter of the octagon. So we again have four smaller parallelograms that'll be one quarter the area of the previous parallelograms. So one quarter of P over 16 will be P over 64. So we figured out one portion of the quarter of this octagon. 
we now can look at the rest of the portions of the octagon in this little grid. In the next grid just above, we have a portion of the octagon which is a trapezoid. Now this trapezoid will have an area that's three-fourths of the area of this small parallelogram. So it'll be three-fourths of P over 64. This is because each trapezoid is a small parallelogram minus a triangle that has one-fourth the area of the small parallelogram. In other words, this portion is three-fourths times P over 64, and we also have another trapezoid that's going to be three-fourths times P over 64. So we now have one final piece of the octagon in this grid. So what's this area? Well, look at the shape of this area. If we expand it and scale it up, it's exactly going to be one quarter of the octagon. And we can scale it back down. In other words, this last piece is a scaled down shape of the one quarter slice of the octagon. As we've scaled by one quarter two times, that means the area of the scaled down piece will be one fourth times one fourth times x over four, which is one quarter of the octagon. Therefore, this will be x divided by 64. So we're now pretty much ready to solve the problem. We have one expression for the area of one quarter of the octagon as x over 4. And we've just figured out another expression for one quarter of the octagon. It'll be the sum of these areas. That's p over 64 plus 2 times the area of a trapezoid, which is 3 fourths times p over 64, plus x over 64. Because these expressions both represent the area of one quarter of the octagon, we can set these expressions equal to each other. We can now bring the terms of x on the left and terms of p on the right. We can then simplify, and then we can divide through to get that the ratio of x over p is equal to 1 sixth, and that's our answer. So I hope you could follow all of those steps with the zooming in, but in case you didn't, let me just present it on one slide. We divide the parallelogram by connecting midpoints of opposite sides. This gives one quarter slice of the octagon into each of these parallelograms, so we have x over 4 as each of these quarter slices. We then divide the upper right quadrant, or any of these quadrants, one more time by connecting the midpoints, and then we do it one more time. We then have one quarter slice of the octagon in this small little grid of four parallelograms. The smallest parallelogram will have an area of p over 64 due to the scaling. We can then figure out the area of the trapezoids as three-fourths of the area of the small parallelogram. And then we have just one more shape, and that's going to be similar to the entire one quarter slice of the octagon. Therefore, we know this will be equal to x over 64. So we've deduced two different ways to figure out the area of one quarter slice of the octagon. We set these two expressions equal to each other, and then solve for the ratio x over p to be 1 sixth. So it's a remarkable solution that only depends on connecting the midpoints of the parallelogram and then deducing the rest of the areas from basic geometric principles. Did you figure it out? And which method did you use to solve this problem? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.